Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about two things that you can do to help improve how well you hear in background noise. Coming up. Remember the good old days when you could just walk into a bar or a restaurant and just hear all of your family and friends and maybe even coworkers and colleagues? Well, if you have hearing loss, your current experience is probably that you can hear everything except for the people that you want to hear. In fact, this issue is so common that hearing better in background noise is always the number one priority for individuals who wear hearing aids. But what if I told you that there are two things that you could do to dramatically improve how well you hear in background noise situations? Would you do it? Of course you would. But before I explain what these two things are, if you could do me a huge favor and click that like button, it really helps out my channel because it gets these videos in front of a broader audience. And while you're at it, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button with notification bell, what are you waiting for? Because that ensures that you never miss one of my newly released videos, and I release multiple new videos every single week. That being said, I really appreciate it, and a big shout out to Phonak for sponsoring today's video, but more on them in a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and get right to it. The first thing that you can do to dramatically improve how well you hear in a background noise situation is to have real ear measurement performed on your hearing aids when they're being programmed. Real ear measurement is a verification technique that a hearing care professional will use to ensure that your hearing aids have been programmed correctly to your hearing loss prescription in order to maximize audibility of sound. Research has proven time and time again that hearing aids perform substantially better in a background noise situation when your hearing care professional has programmed them using real ear measurement. In fact, one of my favorite studies of all time that proves this was conducted by Drs. Ron Levitt and Carol Flexer in 2012. They took six premium digital hearing aids, programmed them to automatic first fit settings, and then tested their performance in a background noise situation by measuring signal to noise ratio loss, otherwise known as SNR loss. SNR loss is a simple way to identify how much separation of speech you need from background noise so you can understand the speech and it is measured in decibels. For example, if you have an SNR loss score of 10 decibels, then you need the speech of the person that you are trying to hear to be 10 decibels louder than the background noise so you can actually hear it and understand it. So if you want to hear better in background noise, your goal should always be to reduce your SNR loss score to the lowest number possible so you need less separation separation of the person that you want to hear from the background noise. Okay, so back to the study. So these researchers took these six premium digital hearing aids, they hit the auto program button based on individuals hearing losses, and measured the SNR loss score with those devices set up that way. But what they then did is they took the same six premium digital hearing aids, they programmed them using real ear measurement so they could match the prescriptive targets of these individuals. And on top of that, they also did the same exact thing with an old analog hearing aid just to see if the old analog hearing aid would actually outperform the first fit hearing aids. And here's what they found. The solid black bars indicate the performance of each premium digital hearing aid with automatic first fit settings based on each patient's audiogram. The further down on the graph the bars go, closer to negative 20, the worse these hearing aids performed in background noise. On the other hand, the solid gray bars indicate the performance of each hearing aid after real ear measurement was performed by an audiologist. As you can see, each one of these gray bars got shorter, indicating that each one of these hearing aids dramatically improved their SNR loss scores after real ear measurement was performed. This means that hearing aids programmed while being verified with real ear measurement can dramatically improve how well you hear in background noise. And it's not even close. The thing that I find hilarious is that even the old analog hearing aid program using real ear measurement outperformed each one of the premium digital hearing aids that were not programmed using real ear measurement and were just on first fit settings. The use of real ear measurement to improve SNR loss scores, which improves your ability to hear in background noise, has been proven repeatedly since this study was completed. However, real ear measurement is only one way to improve how well you hear in a background noise situation. Another way that you can improve how well you do in background noise is to make sure that you have hearing aid technology that has features to help you do so as well. This is why Phonak, today's video sponsor, developed their new and improved Stereo Zoom 2.0 feature inside of their Lumini 
line of hearing aids to make hearing and background noise even better. If you're familiar with Phonak, then you're probably already aware that they've had a stereo zoom feature inside of their hearing aids, which is one of the reasons why their devices did so well in background noise. However, Stereo Zoom 2.0 is even smoother, smarter, and stronger than their previous version. Let's talk about how it's smoother. So on previous generations of Phonak hearing aids that used the original stereo zoom, anytime that you would go into a background noise situation, the directional microphones would go from a fixed directionality to narrow directionality very abruptly, which could sound a little unnatural. Stereo Zoom 2.0 takes a different approach to directionality. So instead of abruptly changing you from fixed directional to narrow directional, the microphones will gradually go from a fixed to a narrow directionality, which sounds a lot more natural. As far as how Stereo Zoom 2.0 is smarter when it comes to directionality, it doesn't just take a certain decibel level of noise to trigger this from going to fixed directional to narrow directional. It will actually gradually increase the amount of directionality that you get as the noise floor increases. This way, the effectiveness of this particular feature improves as the noise levels change. So if you're in a moderate level of background noise, the microphones stay a little bit more open to give you more awareness of sound around you. But as things get a lot noisier, these microphones will narrow up to the point where when you're facing someone, that is the person that you're going to hear. Stereo Zoom 2.0 is also stronger than ever before. Phonak has a white paper that indicates that Stereo Zoom 2.0 can improve your signal to noise ratio by up to three decibels compared to real ear sound microphone settings using a power dome. On top of that, if you want to improve your signal to noise ratio by an additional 2.5 decibels on top of this three decibel improvement, then you can do it or your hearing care professional can do it by increasing the speech focus setting either in the programming software or on your MyPhoneAck app. Just imagine if you could improve your signal to noise ratio by an additional 5.5 decibels on top of the benefit that you would receive from having real ear measurement performed on your hearing aids when they're being programmed. That would be a huge improvement. This is why having hearing aid features like Stereo Zoom 2.0 and having real ear measurement performed during your hearing aid fitting are so critical when it comes to hearing better in background noise. If you're able to get your signal to noise ratio loss score down to a score of three, then you technically have the same hearing ability as someone with normal hearing in a background noise situation. Now you're probably thinking, Cliff, that's great, but I have no clue what my signal to noise ratio loss score is. Well, the way that you would actually find that out is by going to your hearing care professional and asking them to perform a speech and noise test for you. There are a variety of different speech and noise tests. The one that I tend to use a lot in my clinic is called the Quicksyn. Then all you have to do is make sure that you have a great set of hearing aids like the Phonak Lumity and make sure that those hearing aids are programmed using real ear measurement. At the end of the day, if you are just sick and tired of walking into restaurants knowing that you are never going to hear the person that you want to hear while you're there, then you need to make sure that you take the proper steps to overcome that issue. The good news is it is entirely possible to actually do this as long as you have the right hearing aid technology programmed the right way. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. If you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my new website, hearingup.com.